So you want to set up an Avada theme blog, but you're not quite sure how to go about potentially. In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know about blogs on the Avada theme, uh, how to set them up, customize them, use them. We'll even look at some theme templates you can use that already have a blog and you can just put your content in. So this is um, a website that's using Avada as the theme, obviously on WordPress. And this is the blog uh, that you can see is got posts and a sidebar and a headline and a number of different things. So if we go and edit this page right here, we'll see that this is essentially just a page in WordPress. And then we're using the Avada Builder. So rather than the default builder, we're using the Avada Builder. And then from there, we just have a headline as well as the actual blog content. So this is an element. So if you go here, click add, well, let me go back. You click create new element and then go to blog. You'll see the blog element right here. And you can choose a bunch of settings. I'll show you how this one is set up. Uh, right now it's just using medium and it's displaying eight posts per page. So we could set this up like in grid format. I'm not gonna save that because it might <laughs> change a bunch of the settings now that I think about it. <laughs> but uh, you can test these different layouts. There's like timeline view and a bunch of different ways that it'll actually display. So medium means that it's using a medium size image here. If you do large, then the image will take up this entire section and then it'll have the text underneath the image. I like the medium because someone can just see the image at a glance, look at the text, see a little bit of a description. If they're interested, then they can click the read more button or click the title or click here or wherever, right? So from here, there's going to be an, so many different settings that I won't go through all of them. You've got like post offset, you can filter by category. So this is actually really helpful. You can filter by category or tag, meaning Let's say I just want to have a block of blog posts here that are for one category, like outdoor living. And then I want to have another block that's for <laughs> grilling. I could split those up and then essentially just use the category outdoor living or patio heaters or grilling or whatever, right? And then we could exclude some if we wanted to. We can order by different, by title, by date, random, kind of however you want. And then by ascending or descending, so you could do a date by the newest or by the oldest. Uh, but typically you're just gonna have it by date with the newest being the first. And then you can change whether it's showing the thumbnail, the, uh, so I'm actually gonna set this to H3, the title size. Um, you can change the post typography, all, all sorts of different stuff. And then you can save that. And when you pull up your posts, you'll be able to see that we now have our nice posts here, right? Um, <laughs> it, it changed the colors on me. <laughs> That's funny. It did change the settings when I switched over, as I thought it would. Um, so that's basically how you have that set up. Now you'll notice over here we have a sidebar, right? So where is the sidebar? Because there's no sidebar in here anywhere. Well, if we go down to the bottom, all the way down to sidebars, then you'll see we have the blog sidebar selected. And so that's what's causing this blog sidebar to show up here. And then, well, all of those sidebar elements are here in the widgets. So under appearance widgets, you can just add those in. And then you'll have also the, if you go over to Avada options and go to sidebar, where is it? Right here. You'll have all of these different sidebar options for the blog, individual posts. So you can see how we have blog sidebar set right here. And then I also had to turn on force global sidebars. And then that allowed the posts 
or the blog page to display these this sidebar here and then also there's sidebars on the individual posts themselves so that's basically the same blog sidebar there and then as I was showing before there's all sorts of additional settings in here as well so we can change some different formatting even the date formatting like very granular changes to the blog um, style formatting stuff like that whether you're using a pagination or a load more button and same goes for single blog posts you can set it to 100 percent page width you know all sorts of different stuff you can turn comments off blog author info box you can turn that on and off and then the blog meta as well so what information do you want to display on the posts about the post itself like the author the date it was created categories different things like that and then with those different settings you can essentially control everything about the blog well almost everything about the blog on your website plus if you don't want to set any of this up you can just go over to avada websites you'll need to make sure you license the theme first and then you could find a template that you like in fact they even have some that are for blogging so if you have a nutrition blog or a food blog or whatever it may be you just find a template that you like let's say it's a food blog so we can preview this and it's going to have essentially a pre-built website with a blog you can see this is essentially like a food journal already and you could install this in one click more or less you just click import right here it's going to make sure you have everything installed just click all click import right here that's going to import that entire website for you just be careful because it's going to erase a bunch of other formatting uh, but you can whoops you can actually remove there's this remove option so if you install all the theme data and you don't really like it you can remove it as well just keep that in mind uh, but you can basically just set up a blog from from one of these templates, put your information in, change all the colors and stuff, and you could be up and running with your own custom blog in basically no time. So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you had questions about in terms of you know, the Avada theme blog or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.